Hello, in this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to use the powerful and easy pivot table. Uh, we're going to look at this fake table of data with the name, gender, position, age, and income of these employees and use the pivot table to determine what is the average pay by gender, what is the total pay for specialists, and how many male specialists are there. And let's do one more. Uh, what is the average age of all employees? Okay, so to begin, make sure that your header row is complete so that every single column has a header description. The pivot table will not work if there isn't a header row. Um, Excel will automatically select the appropriate range of the table as long as your header rows are complete and you're not missing any gaps, any large gaps of data. So click anywhere in your table, go to the insert menu, and select pivot table. You can see it automatically selected the appropriate range. I'm going to select OK from the create pivot table menu, and you can see the pivot table options here. So the first question was, what is the average pay by gender? I'm going to drag gender into the row label list. So now you see the two genders from the table of data. I'm going to drag average pay. I'm going to drag income into the values section. So now the default for a number in a pivot table is the sum. So it summarized, it added um, all of the female pay together and all the male pay together to give this figure here. We can change it from sum to count or to, in this case, average by right clicking and going to value field settings and selecting the appropriate operator. I'm going to select average from this list. All right, so we see here the average pay of the female of this company is 73,333 and 33 cents, and the average pay for males is 63,000. I don't like that. I'm going to skew it a little higher in the favor of males and show you how to update a pivot table. On your pivot table menu, click pivot table tools and click refresh. You can see that the value didn't change until you refreshed your pivot table. Okay, let's answer the next question since we have answered the first question. What is the total pay for specialists? All right, I'm gonna get rid of gender and I'm gonna drag position into the row label. Here you can see the positions and the average income. I'm gonna change this income to sum. Now you can see the total pay for each position. Question three, how many male specialists are there? Okay, this is easy. I'm gonna get rid of position. I'm gonna drag gender into the row label. I'm gonna get rid of income. Uh, for a count function, which we're gonna use here, you can use any, any value, any field in the table that is uh, filled in in each row. So make sure there's no blanks. Um, there is a name in each of these rows so I'm going to use name. And since name is in a number, the default for the pivot table is going to be to count it. So there are three female employees and four male employees. Okay, question four. What is the average age of all employees? I'm going to drag age into the values. This is the sum by default, of course, because it's a number field. I'm going to change that to average. And here's the average age by gender. Um, the question actually was not by gender, it's average age total. So I removed the uh, gender from the row label, and now it's the average total. The other way you could do it is to add, to look here at the grand total, um, which will average across male and female. You can see it remains the same, 35. 
Okay, this is a very basic, uh, just to show you kind of how the pivot table works. I'm going to do a couple more videos that show you really how powerful the pivot table can be. Um, be sure to check those out. Uh, this can save you all kinds of time for a lot of different jobs that you need to do in Excel. It's one of the most powerful functions and it's very simple to use. So stay tuned for the next videos. All right, thanks for your time.